Hey guys, so in this video, we are gonna be talking about some new and now lip products from the Too Faced Melted Matte, which I have tried, <laughs> I, like literally, I know the, my lips don't look perfect, but like, I've literally tried on so many, like you'll just see me in the video, like I tried on so many that's like wiping off, trying on, they don't look perfect, but I just kinda want you guys to see for the color. So I'm kinda filming this intro at the end because I realized I didn't really film one. So, but regardless, I'm gonna try on a bunch of weird, weird ass colors. A lot of all of these different Too Faced melted mattes, which I am beyond impressed with. These are just beautiful in that the shade range is amazing, the formula is amazing, the packaging is amazing. I'm a little bit in love and I didn't expect to be, I really didn't. You guys, I, I'm just not super floored by the melted lipsticks with the original ones. And I'm so glad that they actually came out with some good matte liquid lipsticks that have amazing, mm, what am I trying to say, an amazing formula. They're not drying, they feel like nothing on your lips. It's, it's really nice. I am gonna try that navy color. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it. Look how beautiful the packaging is. It's the best packaging ever. Okay. Also, the Tardis Glossy Lip Paints. I'm gonna talk about a few of my favorite colors of those. A couple new other little Tarte lip colors. I feel like I really have to just keep it to this because we'll just have to do another video for some matte collections and some other stuff at another time. So, I really wanted to try these on for you guys. Like I said, this is not perfect, I know. But um, it's a beautiful color and I'll go through all of it. Um, if my makeup looks a little smeary, it's because I have literally wiped off a million lip colors and I'm gonna have like no lips tomorrow. Okay, so let's jump in. So Tarte, I was really excited to see this. The whole matte lip trend is big. And I was really happy to see these. They are the Tartist Glossy Lip Paints. And the formula of these are so cool. I've been wearing these for a long time now since I got them. I guess I've had these for about a month. And I've been kind of trying them all out. What I'm wearing though today is this Lippy Laundry by Tarte and Pure. And I freaking love it. I am obsessed with the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl. And I wear it freaking every day. Like, pretty much every day. So this really complements it well. It gives you a matte look, but it's really thin. And it's not like one that's gonna really transfer, you know what I mean? So it has the feeling of that like lip paint, but it's a little, you know, and then this one's a little darker and it's in reveals. So if you had a darker skin tone or something or you just like a little bit of a darker look, you might wanna try that. But the one called Pure is really, really good. So those are a couple new things. But these lip paints, okay, so they feel really cool on your lips. like. They are going to be, they're really pigmented, but at the same time, they're not like goopy and thick. You don't have to apply much at all because they are so pigmented. It's not gonna be like piling up a gloss or something. Will these transfer? Of course. They're gonna transfer more than like something that's gonna fully set. And because they're glossy, they, you know, they're not gonna fully set. So this one I really love, and it is in the shade, I think it's Obvi. Okay, some of the little stickers fell off the way that they had it stuck when they sent it. This one is my favorite and it looks like this. And I'll just put it on over this. It's just kind of like really brown, but I like that. So when you feel it, if you guys have tried these, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it almost feels like, I don't wanna say a dry gloss because that's so weird and that makes no sense. But when you put it on your lips, it almost like, it like it's melting in, it's really bizarre. So I love this. I wore this when we were at the beach and um, I did get some compliments on it. I really like it. It's very kind of like a coolish brown. Love this color. It's called Hella. It's very, um, like, it's just a really, like, nude. I am not going to go nuts and go into every single color from every single range of these because we'll be here all day. But um, I'll just kind of share with you a few that I like. So I like the one called Goals, which is a little lighter and pinker than this. And then one more is this one, which is a bit darker, but it's called Snap. Um, it's a bit darker. It's still that cool, kind of mauve brown color, but it's gonna be kind of a different look, kind of a more like cool, you know. I love these, I love the formula. They are just really, really neat, and I love them. They're just beautiful, and of course, they come in some different colors. 
um, that, that one I already showed you, but you know, they've got like a couple. These are, um, this is Slay and this is WCW. Really cute. What I love about them is that they're not going to just wear off just by doing nothing. Um, so I'm gonna like kind of travel like a lip gloss. They really stay put. They're really gonna stay true to your color and like true to what they are until like you eat or wipe them off or something, but they are really, really nice. And I love the color range in those so much more than the other uh, just like the regular Tardis lip paint. So MAC has something kind of similar and it's called the Versicolor Stain. I love the packaging first of all. Um, this one's called, which one do I do? I'll do this one called Constant Craving. It may not go on as, I remember these were, they're pigmented but we'll try this like orangey one. This is actually pretty. I, I, this is the one that I wore. It's called Can't Stop Won't Stop. You see how you can kind of see your lips through it. This one's kind of like orangey. So these are kind of, I would say, like, I like this. It's kind of like a stainish effect. I would like to put like a lip liner on, but I'm just kind of showing you. It's odd because they're a stain, but you can still feel the product on your lips. Like it dries to kind of like a stain, but it doesn't look like nothing. Like, you know how stains just kind of absorb into your lips? It kind of sets, but then the same time it's a stain. It's really kind of weird. But it's a, it's like a stain as well in that it is not opaque. You're gonna have a little bit of transparency there. You're gonna be able to see your natural lip color a little bit through it. And some of the colors are a little streaky. But I do like this, so if you're wanting to try more like brighter colors or dark colors, this is a way to do it without it being like full on like paint. And I actually really like this, and I'm not usually like a bright lip, crazy lip person. I'd say the can't stop, won't stop is my favorite, and I could go through all of those, but you can kind of look at all of them, and I mean, you can kind of see. Too Faced has come out with a whole new line of melted colors with different applicators, thank the Lord. I've never been a, you guys know, I've never been a fan of the Too Faced Melted except for the sugar because I like to put that one, like, just layer it because it's, um, but I've never been a fan of them, like, as actual lip paints, like, how to, like, really paint them on. So now they have them called Melted Matte. The original Melted ones were kind of a little oily. They would dry a little bit, like, kind of like a satin, I guess. I don't know. And then they came out with the Metallics, and I was never a f fan of those, of the, mel the Melted Metals, but... There's so many more than this, but you can kind of get an idea. But we'll try a more natural one, but I promise I'll try that navy blue one on the end. I hated, I always hated the color range of the original ones. I know that's like, I just did. I just, I, I never liked the color range, but I don't know if I can pick up all these, but I'll pick them up in kind of like sections. And you can go on if you like these colors. Like, I'm not going to read off every single one, but you can go and kind of see what colors these are. Um, and then, but I'll try on a few of them. You can kind of see just how beautiful they are. If you go online, you can, they're going to look just like this in the box. So, I'm going to try this color, and this one's called Sellout. Um, oh, that one's not in the box. I tried that one already. Okay. I tried that one already. I had to find it. Okay, so, packaging is kind of like, it, it's, it's a little throwback to like the other ones. They look like a tube. But they are so good because they actually have a freaking wand. So... I feel like with these, you there's kind of like that one color that all the brands make. That's like the color that you kind of want. Like it's the one that I'm always gravitated towards, and it's all it's this color. These set really nicely. They're not drawing drying, and like I said, this is the only color that I really tried. But I'm gonna kind of go through some of the other ones. I would say out of everything, these and the Tardis glossy ones is what I'm most excited about. These are just beautiful. They feel like the Kat Von D and that they're very thin um, and, and apply them very thinly but the Kat Von D ones you have to actually make it a point to apply thinly and then they're perfect. These I feel like you don't really have to make it a point to apply thinly but the product itself is just very thin and natural feeling so I would say what is that doing? I love it and like I said this is the only color that I tried to sell out which I think is this is one of those that's just kind of a perfect shade. These are just I'm just showing you the shades that I'd be drawn to so um, these are very similar. This is Child Star which is a bit um, lighter and more pink and then this is cool girl which is a bit more cool and brown it's already really set on the day that i wore it i could like i feel like i'm not wiping all of it off i'm just kind of to show you okay now this you gotta think i'm applying it kind of over like a darker that did not rub off 
but you can kind of get the idea. Okay, so that one's kind of nude. Um, let's see. And then Cool Girl, which this one's more brown. I really like this one too. Wow, I'm really shocked. I think that this, I'm so happy that Too Faced finally did this. Like, they, they came out with something that's, gosh, like, I want to try all of them. So this one, like I said, I'm just wiping them off gross. It's like, it's leaving a line. All right, so this one's called Me So Pretty, and it's a bit lighter in pink. Mm-hmm, almost too light for me. Oh, some people make this work. Should I just do the whole thing or no? No, that looks bizarre and scary and no. Yeah, this one's a big old dud. Obviously. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay. Um, maybe super gorgeous on some people. Oh, I, I um, how sweet are they? They gave me two of those. Um, and there's some pinks, there's some browns. I'll, do you want me to put on this purple? This would be fun. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on this one called Miss Roper. And then I'll, no, cause this is gonna like dye my lips. Let's put on, let's just do it, who cares? So this one's called Queen Bee Purple. No, this one's not as purple, like, no, this is pretty. Um, when my friend and I were at Hermes the other day, there was a girl that worked there. She had on like the most purple lipstick I've ever seen. And at first I was like, what? But it kind of like, it was kind of cool. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is like a super wearable purple. You know I am not into some purple lipstick, but this is really wearable. I just, I love the packaging of these too. They're just so like substantial and nice. Let's try on all the other crazy colors. I really, really like this purple. Okay. Let's see if I really like this purple. Is this boring? Are you guys kind of like, Tiffany, really? I'm like watching you try on lipsticks. Okay, so this color is called Unicorn. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Turn back now. Are you unsubscribing yet? Are you like judging me? Okay, well, why am I continuing down this road? I mean, if you're into purple lipstick, I think you're gonna love this. I think this is gonna be really pretty. Okay, I don't wanna try on like all of the super dark ones. You guys get the idea. This one called On Point and the, the deep Drop Dead Red are pretty similar. Um, there's really brown ones, you know, I mean, I'm gonna try on that blue one because I promise, but I love, see, the purple will not even wipe off. Are you seeing this? See, that purple is not a good idea. Okay, so this one's called Miss Roper and it's like one of those pretty corally reds. Orangey reds, I should say. Okay, I keep saying this every time because it so does not look perfect, but I'm not applying these perfectly. I'm just, you know, just so y'all can see the color, but like it's all over my, ugh, it's all messed up, okay. This one I really like. It's one of those like perfect red-orange colors. Okay, and then like, because I don't want my lips to fall off, I'm not gonna try on all these, but you get the freaking idea, right? Pretty, like these are really good, and I love the formula, like I said, I tried. The other color, what's it called? The um, the sellout color, and I tried it when I got them, and really was impressed. It was just kind of like, you know, you look through things and you think, oh, that's my favorite color, and you grab it and you try it on. That was kind of like what I did. And I was so impressed with the formula, and I thought, I can't wait to try the other ones. It's probably gonna be one of those deals where like, this is the only wearable color. And like, there's so many other ones. I feel like my lips are like Joker lips right now. Like, I feel like they're so neon. Like, I need to fix that, I need to fix this. Whatever. Um, but honestly, the, the range I really think is cool. Okay, so let's just try on this blue one. I'm gonna regret it, I can feel it. Okay, I actually like, did a good job taking that off. I'm scared. It's called Who's Zoom and Who. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how pretty it is though. I mean, if I were gonna wear blue lipstick, I'd like to think this is what I would. I feel so like edgy. What if I like had an emergency and I had to go to the hospital right now? And I like 
I always think about that, like, huh. You have to be really good at lipstick to like apply blue. I'm obviously failing this. It's like everywhere, it's like all over my hand. Oh my God. There's like no room for error with this stuff. What do I do here? Do I like, connect it? Do I like when it, ugh. Wait, okay, this is what I don't get. When people wear blue or like really unnatural colors, for your face like at least like all these are like even red or I mean it's kind of like a tone you know of your what do you do when you like open your mouth you see that what do you do when you like open your mouth and you're like it's a like side clown like when you can see all that so gross so what do you do do you just like go on the inside of your mouth like uh, oh my goodness it's so not perfect like you can see like so dark that you can't make any mistakes like it's so dark that you can't make any mistakes and like when you open up your mouth like your teeth are just like oh like when you wear really dark lipsticks all of these colors are somewhat like natural in tone like the inside of your lips don't look like mm -mm -mm. do you like have to just go inside hmm wow so if you liked blue lipstick before, I'm sure you don't now. No, I'm kidding. But this is good if you like blue. Okay, so I feel like it's, I messed up right there. And it's like, it is, oh, and now I just wiped it on my face. Oh my God. If you wear blue lipstick, just, let's just take a second. Because you are, you gotta be like really, you can't make any mistakes. And like, look, it's like smeared all over my face. Why doesn't this happen when I wear any other colors? Like, other so let's end on this wonderful note. I would say that I'm most impressed with these Too Faced um, matte lip lipsticks. The Tardis Glossy Lip Paints, really cool. To two totally different things, but I really love those. Um, I love this little Tarte Pure. I love that. This little Tarte Lippy Lingerie. Love that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you so much for spending this time with me. As always, I will link to everything below, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.